along one of the most picturesque trails in one of the very best local neighborhoods. A horrible crime against a mother who was out for a walk. Why did it happen? And more importantly, who did it? Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Michelle McCormack. And I'm Tom Zalaski, and we start off tonight with the story we have been following all day long. De Pere police say they just aren't sure if there's a danger to the public. So everyone must remain vigilant about their personal safety until they can get to the bottom of the late morning trail assault. Local 5's Danielle Zulkowski on what we know so far. The attack in broad daylight on the East River Trail in De Pere has left some community members shaken. While the police try to track down the assailant. Uh, well, in a situation like this, uh, we obviously want to make sure that we are doing a thorough search for any evidence that might be located on that uh, trail. The department says they became involved in searching for the woman after her husband called the police when she did not return from a walk with their child. We're, we're certainly looking uh, to see if we have any additional witnesses. Uh, we've spoken with a couple. Uh, but if anybody else in that area would have any additional information, we would definitely ask them to come forward. Captain Moraski says they've processed evidence from the scene and will likely send some to the state for analysis. And they do not believe the victim knew the attacker. You should be able to walk along a, a, in a city park or in a, in a area trail in broad daylight, especially without having to worry about this sort of thing. Local 5 talked to some De Pere community members, some who say they will continue to use the trail, while others say they're going to avoid the area in order to stay safe. We would advise caution. Uh, I certainly would advise anybody to walk in those areas in hours of darkness. And again, uh, even uh, until we know that we have the person of interest that we're looking for, I would definitely advise people to you know, travel in groups. De Pere police say the mother survived and the baby was not hurt. In De Pere, Danielle Zolkowski, Local 5 News. Thanks, Danielle. And if you have any information regarding this attack, you are asked to contact the De Pere Police Department.